Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Brain Science. This video is going to be very informative to all the young researchers who are planning to write their first paper. I have tried to cover all the necessary things that you all should know before start writing your first paper. In academics, we all have a fear of writing a research paper. Believe me, when I was writing my first paper, I was completely blank. What to write, what comes under in which section, I was completely blank. But by the help of my senior and my mentor, I managed to complete it. But now I am making this video so that you all will never face the problem. So watch this video till the end. Before moving on to the video, let's see whether these questions bothers you also or not. Which section should we start writing first? What is the difference between a good paper and a bad paper? Let's try to find out in this video. First thing first, start with an outline. The best strategy is to start with an outline. Putting numbers for each section and a neat parallel listing of topics, sentences and supporting points. This outline will be similar to a template for your paper. Initially, the outline will form a structure for your paper. It will help generate idea and formulate hypothesis. Start with a blank piece of paper and write down in any order all important experiments you have performed for your paper. Level 1 will contain a table 1 which gives you an outline idea. First, start with a topic of your paper. Why this topic is important? Write down all these things step by step. Next, third point is how could I formulate my hypothesis? In point four, you have to write what's your results. Include all your visuals, figures, table, formulas, equations, and algorithm, and list your findings. This will constitute the level first of your outline, which will eventually expand as you elaborate. The fifth point and the last point that you have to include in your outline is what, what is my major finding. It is a part of the results and you have to write down or note down what are your findings regarding your paper. Let's understand how you have to make your outline step by step by taking an example. Suppose the topic of your paper is damaging cancer cell by targeting mitochondria. Give your research a proper heading Next, you have to explain why you are targeting the mitochondria. The third point is to find out the literature regarding that topic. You have to search for different papers, literature where similar kind of research has been done and you have to find out what are their findings and note down these findings. Third is the experimental finding. How you have damaged the mitochondria, what are the results you have got after damaging the mitochondria, Level 2 is nothing but just elaborating your level 1 in which you have to expand your outlines. Outline will contain 4 different points. One is introduction, second is material method, third is results and the fourth is discussion and conclusion. Each point will have different different sub points. Let's crack it one by one. Introduction. Introduction contains 4 different sub points. Why your research important? What is known about the topic? What is your hypothesis? What are your objectives? These points should come in an exact sequence. Next is material method. Material methods also contain four different points. First point will contain what materials did you use? In point two, who were the subjects of your study? You have to write where you have done your work. What are the subjects you have taken? For example, if you have done it on uh, in vitro, if you have done it on cells, you have to write out which cells you have used, from where you have procured. All these things, minor minor details, you have to include. Third point, what are the design of your research? For example, if you have made a nanoparticle, then you have to explain how you have made your nanoparticle. That thing will come in the point third. The fourth sub point is what procedure did you follow? So at the end, you have to write all the procedures which you have followed to make, suppose if you had made a nanoparticle, what are the procedures you have followed to make that nanoparticle? So you have to put that in your materials and method. Each point will come in the exact same sequence. So remember the sequence. The result part will contain two sub parts. First is what are the major significant results that will come in your paper and the other is the supporting result which will come in the supporting information. Fourth point is discussion and conclusion. What are the study major findings? And second, 
what is the significant implication of the results now let's understand this with some graphical representation and by some example again let's take an example of mitochondria targeting mitochondria for cancer treatment suppose if this is your topic then first of all you have to give the introduction why what are the importance of mitochondria what are the functions mitochondria perform and why we have chosen mitochondria to target for cancer treatment this will be your step first in next step what are the known things about mitochondria suppose you are targeting the dna of the mitochondria to dysfunction the mitochondria then you have to write what, what is your hypothesis how you are going to damage the dna of the mitochondria and then and you, by damaging the mitochondria the aim that you are, you are making is to kill the cancer cell can be achieved this is how you have to write your introduction part now now the result section will include all the findings which you have got while damaging your dna of mitochondria you have to show what are the results you have got after damaging the dna and how you have damaged the dna that you have to prove you have to prove in the result section that you have actually damaged the dna of the mitochondria and then you have to prove that by damaging the dna of the mitochondria you have killed the cancer cell this is what you have to show you have to prove in this result section Now that you have expanded the outline, it's time to move on to the next step. Discuss the idea of paper writing with your mentor and colleague, and discuss which journal is suitable for your research paper. Now, after deciding the journal, it's a real time to start writing your paper. Copy your outline into a separate file and expand on each of the points, which means start adding data and elaborating on the details. After creating the first draft, do not jump directly to edit the full text. In fact, start choosing a better words or better phrases for each section one by one. Keep on adding your ideas to the paper and leave full text revision and editing for the later. Now many students face this problem of starting with an empty screen, but you have a template of your article which I have provided in table two. Now what you all have to do is fill in the blanks. Make sure when you start writing you must have all the files regarding data, lab notes, experimental method, materials, everything that is related to your research. Now you just need to compile all the data and put it into a comprehensive paper. If you still face a problem from where to start with then I would suggest you to start with materials and method writing. because you have all the notes regarding your experiments you can well explain how you have performed your experiments in this section you need to add all the materials you have used for your research and from where you have procured in methods you need to define in detail for example if you did synthesis work in paper then describe how you have synthesized the molecule with an exact concentration of compound used provide enough detail and references if needed The purpose of this section is to allow other researchers to evaluate and repeat your research. Your result should be organized into different segments or subsections where each one presents the purpose of the experiments, your experimental approaches, data including text and visuals. For most of the authors, writing a research section is much more threatening compared to writing a materials and methods. because when someone is interested in your work he or she is going to read your research section so it is very important for you to put all your skills of writing in writing your research section first of all make sure to compile all the results that you have got in a orderly manner and also take help of illustrative materials and text so that you can explain it in a much better way finally you have to write the discussion section there is three points that you have to keep on remember while writing your discussion section point first is state the study's major finding explain the meaning and importance of your finding in number 2 research context like compare and contrast your finding with those of other published result explain any difference and unexpected findings also and state the limitations weaknesses and assumptions of your studies Number 3 will be the closing of your paper. 
summarize the answers to the research questions indicate the importance of the work by stating applications recommendations and implications thank you all for your consistent support i know i have not been able to make a consistent videos because of some personal reasons but i'll promise you i'll try to bring a best possible content for you all so please supporting your beacon mill science subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you really like this video see you in the next video